There is a difference between a laid out word and an unfolded word. See, when you lay something out, it's kind of like on a flat surface, kind of like a piece of paper, very one dimensional, very flimsy. You can rip it or shape it to the way you like. Some people serve a paper like Jesus with a paper like faith that just rips so easily. But we didn't get a paper word this Sunday. We didn't get a, a laid out word. We got an unfolded word. And there's a difference because to be unfolded means to have dimension. And that's what it is to serve God, my brothers and sisters. That's what you're hungry for an unfolding word and every day it gets better and better that's what pastor anthony preached to us through the three hebrew boys he talked about how god brought them out of babylon like the word says or brought them out of their world rather into babylon and that's what the enemy wants to do he wants to pull you out of your element and test you and the bible said the first thing that the king did for the three for the four hebrew boys was change their diet listen my friend Listen, my brothers and sisters, the enemy wants to change your taste for God. He wants the things of God to taste ugly and bland and boring to you. And he wants sin and the things of the world to be exciting and interesting to you. But the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. The Bible starts with Daniel chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. It says, so he agreed to this and tested them for 10 days. The people, the man in charge of Daniel and, and the Hebrew boys tested them because the king wanted them to eat certain foods and drink wines. And they said, no, we're going to eat vegetable and water. And in verse 15, it says at the end of the 10 days, they look healthier and better. Uh, better nourished than any of the other young men who ate the royal food. Verse 17, to these four young men, God gave knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning because you get smarter when you serve God. And Daniel could understand visions and dreams of all kinds. You also get revelation. Then verse 19 and 20 says, The king talked with them, and he found none equal to Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So they entered the king's service. See, because when you obey God, he will open up doors for you. Doors of dimensions where you could never have gone by yourself. Verse 20. In every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king questioned them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his whole kingdom. Get ready to walk into an unfolded word because you come to a church that is unfolding in the things of God, but you got to come. And so get ready to hear Pastor Anthony. Um, you know, the the I, I was toiling between two concepts the entire time when I was titling it because it, it was really about uh, dedication. Um but 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 the idea and what I ended up telling it was determination, uh, uh, because Christians need to be determined today to serve God. I, I mean, it's just got to be that uh, 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 solid in terms of it, it needs to come from our spirit that we are not going to compromise our godly values. We're not going to push aside our, our, our Christian ethics. Uh, um, the idea is that we are going to stick to the way that God has called us to live, and we're going to do it in everything. We're going to do it in the way we work. We're going to do it in the way we raise our family. We're going to do it in the way we do everything, right? How we shop or whatever. And 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 part of that was to 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 ensure that in order to be determined, are you first dedicated, right? That that that's got to be the solid ground. Are you a dedicated follower of Christ? And then, and then what does that mean? So I, I think that the, the 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 scripture of Daniel really kind of sets that up because you have four Hebrew boys who were not going to be tainted by the government they now live in, the food that's now being put in front of them, the temptation of drinking the finest wine, right? What would what, what, what they consider the finest king's wine? None of that was going to stop them from ensuring that they were going to live according to the way that God called their people to live. And, and listen, let's look, let's look at today. Uh, uh, to be a Christian in our world today is uh, it's going against the grain. Um, you're going to upset a lot of people by preaching the word, by just stating what God, God has already stated, and, and, and you'll be labeled. And, 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 but Jesus had already told us this, right? He had told us, uh, the world is going to hate you, not, not because of you, but because of me, 
And, and, and so I think that that's really the idea is that Christians need to be determined to serve the Lord, to raise our children the way a Christian's supposed to, live your life the way a Christian's supposed to. And, and, and part of what I spent a lot of time on what was the idea of, uh, I used for First Peter, and it said that we are to come uh, to the living stone, right? The, the cornerstone, which is Jesus. And, and the word says that we are going to be, be, be built up. That, that that's the spiritual maturity. We are going to be built up each other. And, and, and you know this, Bishop, I, I have heard countless times Christians who are leaving churches, hopping churches, they, they, they go to, you know, uh, and, and the size of a church doesn't matter. But if you have no connected accountability to the people that you serve with, if you can't tell me any kind of details about your pastor, if you can't, if, if there is no actual connection there, then the idea is, what are you really connected to? How determined can you be to live a Christian life when you're not really connected to any Christians? And 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 Preach. I find that very interesting, right? I find that very interesting how uh, um, I will get heat if I'm questioning you with regards to your values. But I'm going to tell you this, Bishop. Uh, uh, I have never expected anybody from anything until they tell me they're a Christian. That that's that's what I think is important. At some point, if you tell me, oh, you know, I'm a surgeon, um, then the idea is if I was a surgeon, uh, we should be refining ourselves with regards to our practice and say, you know, I, I never hold my scalpel like that because I'm afraid that it's going to create unsteadiness in my hand. Um, yet somehow in, in that regard, they will understand uh, 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 iron sharpens iron, right? But if I'm a pastor inside an ev evangelical ministry saying, hey, this is the way God wants to be worshipped. Hey, this is the way we attend church. Hey, this is the standard of how we live with regards to how we do business. Hey, this is the standard of how we live with regards to putting sin away and living a godly life to the point of perfection. Then all of a sudden I get a, 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 a lashback, right? And, and, and or labeled with regards to my extreme values. I don't think it's extreme. I think that if this is the way that God wants to be worshiped. I think that there's one way to serve. There's one way to come to Jesus. And 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 it's clear, it's clear in, in, in the Bible. So talking about dedication, right? Uh, uh, the idea is stay dedicated, stay dedicated to God, stay dedicated to living the ways of Jesus Christ. Well, there you go. The Hebrew boys were dedicated, but God doesn't want you just dedicated. He wants you determined, resolved. See, you're not a flake. You're not one dimensional. You're not some little paper that's gonna be folded by everybody and I don't like this and this friend folds you that way and that person. No, no, you are shaped by God. And so God has made you resilient. He has made you strong and he has made you with a resolved or determined. So what a great word. Listen, we are excited about seeing you on Sunday. Get up, get your kids ready the night before. Do what you got to do. Have all your fights the day before. I don't care what you got to do. Eat snacks in the car on the way, but get to the house of God here at the River Worship Center. In case you were looking for a sign, God has called you to the River Worship Center. That is your church. So listen, on behalf of Pastor Anthony, our pastor, myself, and everybody, we love you. We will see you this Sunday. And uh, listen, you're gathering with dedicated, determined people. You will be encouraged. God bless you.